Fill layers and brushes in Photoshop. Now, after cropping a background from an image, we have a few options to add a fill layer. We can find it here in the layers panel. We have the icon at the bottom. And the first three, solid color, gradient, and pattern will be a fill layer. And you can find them in the menu under layer and new fill layer. Now, if I click on solid color, you can give a name to your layer and click OK. And that will create a new fill layer. So you can see that we have the, the, the color and something called a mask. That we will see what we can do with it. So in the layers panel, we want it as a background. I can just click and drag it behind the image. Now, if you double click on the color thumbnail, you have an option to change the color and see the preview. So it's really nice. You can just decide which color you need as a background and click OK. Now I can use the mask as well. That means that if I will drag my fill layer on top of the image, select the mask, I can use the eraser tool and just erase some areas from the mask. You can see here on the right, it's turning black. And now we can see any layer underneath. Now the nice thing that here we have the foreground and background. So if the foreground is black, you can just bring back the color. And if it's the foreground is white, just remember that the thumbnail, the mask thumbnail, will be selected. Let's just bring it back. And place it behind. Double click. And pick any other color. <clears throat> now let's click cancel and see our options. Just delete the fill layer. And here I can add as well a gradient. As you have from the library a lot of gradients that you can add as a fill layer. Blue, pinks, control the direction and the gradient type. Example radial, which give it a nice background and scale. If you want to scale the gradient, usually just mix the colors. Click OK, it works the same. We have the gradient and the fill layer. The last option here will be pattern. So we have different patterns, and that's the scale, the size. scroll down there are different grass or trees as a background now I can use the eraser tool or the brushes that will work the same and if you have a fill there I can pick any brush. Now make sure the mask selected and even it, it will just erase it and a brush shape. So that's the fill layer section with solid color, gradient and pattern using brushes as well. So from the library, you can try and use any brush to delete the image underneath.